The Rotorex 1105B has been around for a while. But I think it's an excellent example of just how far uh, motor technology has come in the last couple of years, but also is an example of just how relevant these older motors still are uh, with the sort of props that we still run on them today. This motor is a 6500 kV, uh, and for this class, as usual, we're looking at this on 2S. In terms of overall efficiency, we have a really nice spread of efficiency over a large portion of its um, performance range. You'll notice the very uh, big section of 50% efficiency that covers way down uh, below even 50% throttle on uh, a lot of uh, these uh, sort of the, the light uh, bi-blade three inch. Uh, quad blade two and a half inch props uh, and even the uh, bi blade two and a half inch and some of the uh, heavier uh, two inch props down there all covered by this uh, much higher uh, efficiency where we tend to expect uh, the very low range of stuff that we kind of expect to fall into a lower area of motor efficiency. In terms of prop matching, uh, the uh, heavy two inch uh, light two and a half inch uh, is just touching over the top of the sweet spot um, and the sweet spot is a lot lower than we've seen in some of the uh, previous motors that we've looked at. Um, coming right up at the bottom of uh, the range uh, that I'm capable of testing on the dyno. So one would expect that uh, this uh, sweet spot here, the 70% uh, efficiency zone, is going to cover down um, quite a bit more of this uh, DYS 2030 prop there. So uh, that's hitting probably closer to the center of it. Going to be perhaps slightly too low a load for the motor uh, once we have unloading in the air. Uh, and this sort of uh, the heavy two inch and uh, two and a half inch is really kind of right where we want it, uh, where the unloading is going to get us right into the best um, performing area of the motor. But the efficiency is still pretty decent. We're uh, dipping down into 50 and uh, low 60% efficiency on uh, like the old 2030 uh, or the 2535 uh, quad blade. And it doesn't look entirely unreasonable on uh, the 3044 we're down into the uh the high 30s and 40s which isn't the greatest place for it to be and uh and you can expect that's going to get much worse as the voltage increases a lot so if you're running that heavy a load on higher voltages on 3s uh this efficiency band is going to continue off here and uh, the power draw is going to increase quite a lot um, on there, so I'm uh, not so certain that's the best idea, and that may be a better fit for the even older, lower KV version of this motor. You can also compare with our standard uh, benchmark motor, the uh, Emacs 4500. If you look at where the uh, bands of efficiency are, even though you would say perhaps the uh, Emacs has a larger zone of uh, peak efficiency here uh, in the uh, 70 and 60 percent. Um, zones, you can see that these efficiency zones on the Rotor X 11-5B are in a lower position. So where on this Emacs, this light two inch prop is very, very convincingly outside of the area of best efficiency, you know, in the center of the power band here, back on the 11-5B, we're in a much, much better position. And if anything, the mid throttle sections of these feels like it's in a lot better spot here. The, uh, this middle 50% efficiency zone is a lot higher up and uh, doesn't really extend over quite as much of the range. So although this area, you're going to get the same thrust out of both motors because we're getting the same RPM into the, uh, the prop, you're gonna get slightly better efficiency with the 1105B compared to bigger, more powerful um, RS1106. And here we're looking at the 100% uh, throttle curves uh, for these two motors, the uh, Emax 1106 here at the top and uh, the 1105B, uh, this one down at the bottom. As you would probably kind of guess from the, uh, the larger, notchier uh, Emax motor, the angle the, um, that this uh, torque curve is following is showing us that we're getting more torque out of the Emax motor. We're um, getting less uh, RPM reduction as we increase the load. Uh, the, the 1105B is suffering more as the load increases and lacks the torque to reach uh, the same ultimate kind of thrust levels that uh, we get 
on the uh, newer Emacs. For instance, on that uh, 3020, we're only looking at probably around 170 grams of thrust on the 1105B, and uh, the Emacs is somewhere between uh, 250 and 270. And these two motors are uh, very comparable in terms of, of ultimate RPM. The uh, the difference in the, the KV times the cell count, not quite the same as your, your ultimate RPM, but you're looking at 13 for the 6500 and uh, like 13.5 on the other. So they should be giving us basically the same RPM. So this difference that we see in the, the motor performance is due to the torque. And of course, that's going to be most apparent on the heaviest loads like the 3044. On the 1105B, you're only looking at between 130 and 150 grams of thrust, where on the uh, the more powerful Emacs motor, uh, you're looking at like 233. So those are the large uh, differences that you expect out of the bigger motor. But of course, the uh, 1105B is a lot lighter as well. It's only like five and a half grams and the Emacs is like 7.2 or something like that. So you save weight. And as we saw in the efficiency charts, um, for very light loadings, that's going to be in a much better position. So all of these down here, where the difference in thrust is going to be a lot smaller. For instance, if we look at that two inch prop, uh, we would estimate uh, our 1105B is going to give us about 97 grams of thrust, where the Emacs is looking at about 122. So where you're looking at over 100 grams of thrust difference with a heavy uh, 3044, uh, only 20 grams difference at the very low end with a two inch and uh, getting the motor in a much better area of efficiency over more of the like performance range of the prop could make this a much better choice for these kind of prop loads if you're willing to take just a tiny hit in your um, ultimate thrust. Now there are other factors that that is going to impact because we have this less torque available. Um, trying to make a, um, a fast throttle move um, on these will be slower on this 1105B as well because if we're say down here at 20,000 rpm and whack open to full throttle we only have uh, just over about one and a half newton centimeters of torque to uh, speed us up to full speed, where to make the same difference on the Emacs, we have just over two and a half newton centimeters of total torque there. But for any throttle change um, between, this is probably close to about the 75% throttle range down on the, uh, the Emacs, um, these will all perform the same down in there. Just how much you care about uh, that acceleration versus efficiency versus your peak power is really just all up to your individual application.